Howdy folks, welcome back to Quarter Life Crisis. Last time we took on the Turf Field Gym and earned ourselves uh, a lovely pin. Nice. Uh, however, on our way uh, to our next location uh, at the Motostoke Gym, we found, uh, just behind this glaring uh, sort fetched, we found some blasts from the past. Cool. So in our, uh, again, we're going to take a, a brief moment uh, trying to hunt that Zard to look for a different Zard. Nice. All right, folks. So we're going to do an old-fashioned pack battle here. Cat has picked Team Cosmog. I have picked Team Alolan Meowth. We're going to see which one has the better pull. Put your comments down below which one you think is going to win. Let's Obviously me. Well, I, I hope one of us wins. I mean, that's really just a win for both of us. You also get a Metagross coin. This is a pretty nice coin. Yeah, looks nice. Like, in terms of, like, coins, you know, then, I mean, none of them are great. There's an Alolan Meowth. Again, I love that little bubbly speckle. Olive oil. Looks good. Alright. Let's see. We'll just open one of each. I think. We'll just keep going back and forth. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. There we go. Code card for all those that are, you know, looking for one. See? Already got a fairy energy. I'm already winning. Eh, debatable. Tormenting spray. Just generally known as me. <clears throat> World of Pete. Hey, Guzma. This card Guzma. used to be worth some money. Yeah. Kinda Back in cool. the day. Wimpot. Hey, see another Meowth. They got a friend. Uh, Magikarp. Crow Gunk. Pikachu, of all things. Pansier, at the very end. Persian, see, I'm stacked. I'm stacked on the cats. You got got all the Meowths and now Persian. All right. Now moving over to cats here. Again, she got the same coin. She got the Nebby. Looking good with those sparkles. Yep, they're on the beach. Or at least on the cliff side, I guess. Maybe it's not technically a beach. Is every distinction or every time... Ocean meets uh, land a beach. I don't know. Is there a flat area? Yes. Then yes, it's a beach. That all adjacent to a cliff. That it's all, all in one. It's all in one. Yeah. Does the beach need to have sand? No. Could be a stone beach, rocky beach. That's true. Or would that be a shore? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's get back to Pokemon. Yeah, let's get back to this really funny... I don't know. I don't know what I relate this art to. Is it like the old Simpson comics? I don't know. Simi Sage. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. One cool customer. Uh, ew, ew. I know I know he's an owl, but mm. boy, he looks like he's breaking his neck. <laughs> That's the secret. Hey, you got Porygon. Oh, already winning. I'm a little biased towards your pack now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> more lol, Esper. And then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what in the world? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing we got excited about. <laughs> All uh, right. At the, the very end, end is a slow king. All right. That's pretty cool. What is that next to him on? Is that like flowers? I mean, flowers? I mean, it looks like a Gossifler, but this is this set came out before Gossifler was a thing. I don't know. It looked like... It, I guess it's flowers. Okay. Because it has the same coloration as <clears throat> uh, Porygon, so I thought it was just like a... Um, not paper mache. Um, origami Porygon. Origami <laughs> Porygon. Try and origami. A Porygami. Okay. A Porygami. Yeah. <laughs> there is an origami Pokemon. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's an Ultra Beast. Mm, okay. It might even be in Burning Shadows for all I know. Alright, well, I would say that so far, I'm winning. Well, be I got that, between, that double Esper. Yeah, between the double Esper <laughs> uh, and the Slow King. I like Slow King more than Persian. I mean, I like Persian just fine. But Alright, back to my pack. Start off with Wick. And a Lunatone. Lunatone looks good. Gloom. Gloom looks happy. Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm pulling kind of the same stuff. Um. Pampor. You're kind of in the wrong environment. <clears throat> Another Lunatone. Oh, man. All these times of doubling the reverse with a card in the pack. And at the very end. Oh, cool. Nice little the, Butterfree. The fat Butterfree. Bye bye, heal. <laughs> so, is that supposed to be Ash's Butterfree? Uh. Does he release that Butterfree? Oh, my gosh. Everybody in the comments, tell Cat about how in your childhood, and I'm telling you to do this because this obviously didn't happen to me. Tell Cat in your childhood when Ash had to release his Butterfree so it could go mate, and then he never saw it again or cared about it. Oh no! But he spent really? that. But he spent that entire episode being Butterfree's wingman, and yeah. it worked. And it was to a pink Butterfree. Oh. Which is weird, because that's not what shiny Butterfree looks like. But it should. What does a shiny Butterfree look like? I don't know, something like this. <laughs> oh, now you understand, right? Yeah. Because that showed up there and not in editing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll time, Dex. Neat. Oh my gosh, these commons. How do we keep pulling duplicates of commons in just such few packs? Dupider. You're happy about that, right? No. What about that? Hey, I mean... That's kind of neat. And at the very end. Ooh. A foil DNC. Cool. A diamond Pokemon. Is it like a mole? No, or... it's like a fairy. A fairy? Okay. Well, I mean, it's a fairy, obviously. But oh, yeah, it's yeah. like a it's a fairy, like, with gems. Okay. DNC's a really cute Pokemon. I'm not familiar with DNC. Um, if we pull Carbink, I'll show you Carbink, and they're, like, related. Okay. I think I think the lore is that DNC is like a special carbink, but carbink's a rock fairy type. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool because like rock is usually like a physical type, but in the case of this Pokemon, it's a uh, special type. Man, you were just struggling with that. Pack. Yeah, I, that was a weird way to open that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Anyway. Try again. I won't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird if I did. Mm. Alright, you're going down this time. What? What? Sorry. Alright, what do we have? <laughs> we got a Seedra. We got a building body. A bo building body. Building body. We got some Frankensteins over here. <laughs> uh, Acerola. Caterpie. Porygon. Oh, man. See? Power of the Porygon. What do I got? Charmander, I got... Brooks. What? Well, <laughs> I like that one. It's cool. But... And at the very end, Marshadow GA. Oh shoot! All right, I my think cute, you're winning so far. My cute ghost fighting type is here. So I basically have to get it equal to that. I don't know. I think I think if you just pull another foil, like you'll be pretty close, right? I mean, because I got a GX and nothing else. You already got a foil, so... I think a foil on your behalf will, will go a long way. Mm, let's see. Of course, we, we always let the, the the comments decide here, so tell us who won. Yeah. Who do you think is the winner? Yep, who do you think is the better person on this channel? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not... No. <laughs> Although I'll say you. Who doesn't love Cat? Aw. I do. Aw, thanks, Will. I love you, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go again with the whole love thing. I Aww. like you as a friend, too. Oh, yeah. What? The like cutie pie, right? Aw, yeah, it's cute. Did you know cutie pie is a bee? Really? Yeah. I did not. I thought it was just a fly. <laughs> well, its evolution makes it more clear with Rabambi. Mm, but, okay. yeah, cutie pie is a bee. Oh! Oh! Oh, if, this if looks this good. Is, if this is good, it might it might tip the favor. We got that reverse Porygon at the very end. Dang oh, it. just eradicate. <sighs> what a chonk. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's quite the chonk. All right, well, so we kind of struck out. I don't think that we we can say that either of us, like, conclusively won here. No, it's pretty I mean, close. I mean, we got... Only two foil cards in, in both packs here. 
chances are these might even be the only new cards we add to our book. It's going to be these two. Um, who knows? We might have to check these out and see if any of the, uh, these add. But certainly, these promos are going to keep building up our Sun and Moon promo collection. I thought we were just going to ignore collecting these, but but we've gotten quite a lot. Yeah, yeah I mean, it helps guide what our next video is going to be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, folks. Join us next time when we check out the Motostoke Gym. Thanks for watching.